Josh Price, Turpin. Oh, he, no, he'll never hold that right. Oh, he got caught in that arm lock. Beauty by Chirp in there, and uh, boy was trying something a little too slowly. Tries to hype and gets away with it, but the arm lock is still there. And a couple of minutes to go in the fourth. Nicely, Turpin takes him all the way off the ropes in that arm lock. The young lad doesn't really know. Well, oh, nicely. That's the way out of an arm lock. Beautifully done. And he gets the double wrist lock on as a counter. And he didn't need the top rope or the referee's shoulder to get that somersault in. Very nice. But uh, Turpin now making sure that he comes back in charge. Yes, the crowd are going to applaud the uh, young Birmingham lad. Actually, they know he's only 17. He's going to be on his side from a lot of points of view. Although Turpin is one of the most uh, favourite of the lightweight wrestlers in the country. Turpin threatening a side surfboard now with that uh, toe hold on the figure four. But I can't see him getting 12 stone 6 up from there. In fact, he's given up. He's trying the arm through and the leg lock instead. The arm bar. 30 seconds he's got to try and make it. He's going to get spun out if he's not careful. Now it's Turpin gives up. Quick mayor, Turpin, nicely countered there by the... And Logan, you're used to calling him that. Again, nicely done. That finger interlocked right on the bell. That's round four. <coughs> Close to the handshake. Let's have a look at this young lad, Steve Logan. I cannot get used to using the name when it a face like this a completely different style to the great Steve Logan one of the hardest forearm smashes in the game the Iron Man Steve Logan but this boy different style altogether but could not when end up a famous name like his predecessor was before he recently retired from round five four to go and still Turpin in the black leading Logan by one fall to nil Four rounds with three minutes to go. Three, four, push. One, two, three, four. Oh, nicely. Caught him. Oh, yeah, that was curious. And he realized that was just an unfortunate accident, so he immediately stepped back. Nice to see. And there's that handstand and the back elbow on the throat. Seems to be a special move here. Good week now. Oh, caught on the way beautifully over the top cross press. And if he can hold him, he's got him, he's got a fall. Well done, Logan. The equalizing fall in just under a minute of round five. Your Master of Ceremonies, Brian Crabtree. In round five, the equalizing fall goes to the apprentice boy wrestler, Steve Logan. <laughs> Brian Crabtree can't get used to saying that name with uh, a boy like this in the corner either. But did very well indeed getting that one. Very nice indeed. After that handstand back elbow that started the trouble for uh, his opponent. Seconds away. Round six. On six, three to go, and one fall each. The next one is the one that matters. Now, if Steve Logan can spring a real surprise here and beat the more experienced Turpin, that will be a turn-up. At least he got the equalizer, which I would have bet against. Oh, what a beauty. 
What a beauty. That could, that would really a threat now, that one. <laughs> that landed superbly. Now he's really weakened and Turpin should be able to finish this off with a pretty simple cross press. But no, he's still found the strength to throw him away. And Turpin will have to hurry before he gets his bearings again. He should take longer on those um, rests. But Turpin going for the full Boston here. Trying everything he knows to stop himself going over to the Boston. Successful so far. Now, <laughs> Turpin gives up. So, a pretty strong fellow this one. Despite the back weakening of the Boston crowd, he's told him to Turpin near, near to a punch as he can get with his forearm. Perfectly legal, of course. But his man sees. Oh, Turpin goes down too. So same uppercut for him. Now, a break to hold his man on the ropes, and he wasn't up on the canvas yet. And that's the sort of good sporting body it's been all the way through where the crowd realizes it rises. Onto the posting. Oh, yes. Caught him all the way there. But his man was down as he followed up. So Logan didn't follow up at all. Very neat stop there. A minute left. Round six. Oh, yes. Nice head mare from that jump beautiful move well now that may mean that Turpin wanted to get down that uh, folded leg there on the step over by the reason that he wanted a little bit of a breather He's not doing him much good apart from that. And he's left his head a bit high too, so he's not getting much of a breather. Eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And this boy is uh, troubled with that left leg. I don't know where the, with the knee, but Turpin anyway is the one that's uh, dished it out this time. Turpin seems to be a little bit unruffled. I'm sure he was going for a breather there. He was really worried by the way that boy came back so firmly and counted him so quickly. But he's got another couple of rounds yet. Round seven. One fall each. Yes, well, Turpin now going for that weakened left knee of Logan's. Yes, and more. He sees his chance now. He'll probably go for a single leg Boston from that or some other weakening on that left leg to really make sure he can go in for the kill here. Figure four leg locked. You see, he's tried this before and he tried the side surfboard before. See if he can get it over this time. He hasn't got much room behind him. It's very near the ropes. I think even if he gets it on, he'll. Uh, no, he's not going to make it. He's holding on the figure four leg lock, though. And leaving his arms free for the top end. But he can't get anywhere with it, so quits on that one. Both men are a little worried about coming in too close for those grabs that have been happening very fast indeed. Now it's a strength effort here from the double arm. Fingers not into lot. Turpin right over the top and he should get the big yes, guess but it's his speciality move. Very quick and they both try the drop kick. And neither of them make it. They both look at each other and grin there as if to say. Oh. Folding for a uh, double, oh yes, uh, no trouble there, no trouble there from Turpin. <laughs> double leg Nelson for Turpin wins it in 1 minute 43 seconds of round 7.
but a very good effort by this young lad, and we're going to see a lot more of him, I hope. Well, so the problem. and gentlemen, after a very sporting contest, we have the winner by two falls to one, Jackie Turpin. And how about an appreciation for the young wrestler we're going to see a lot more of, Steve Lowe.